Good evening. <clears throat> this is the Nine Days to Christmas, Christmas Novena, based on the 1928 Book of Common Prayer. Today is December 20th. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Watch ye, for you know not when the master of the house cometh, at even or at midnight, or at the cock crowing or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the desires and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind, in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Grant you absolution and remission from all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of His Holy Spirit. Praying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open now our lips. And our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Antiphon The Lord our King is and drawing near. O oh, come, come, let, let us, us adore, adore him. him. Break into song, daughter of Sion, and sing for boundless joy, daughter of Jerusalem. For he comes your Lord and Master, and the day shall gleam with a radiant splendor, and mountains distill sweet new wine. Hills shall flow with milk and honey, for now comes a long-awaited prophet. And then shall he rebuild you, Jerusalem. The Lord our King is drawing near. Oh, come, let us away. He shall be both God and man, and come from David's house to sit upon his kingly throne. You shall see him and in your hearts rejoice gladly. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. Behold, the Holy One of Israel shall appear, God our shield and strength, and the diadem of kings shall rest upon his brow. His domain shall encompass the land from sea to sea, from the river even upon the earth's most remote limits. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. Behold, the Lord indeed shall appear, and his word shall never fail. Though he tarry a while, keep a wakeful watch, for swift and sudden shall be his coming. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. As dew gently falling upon a fleece, shall he descend, and the days of the Lord shall righteousness again prevail with blessing of peace abounding. And in homage shall all the kings and princes of the land 
All the nations serve and adore thee. The Lord our King is drawing near. O come, let us adore him. For unto us a boy is born, his name the God of might and power. He shall sit upon the throne of David, his father, and rule his people. For the government rests upon his shoulder. The Lord our King is drawing near. O come, let us adore him. Bethlehem, city of God most high, from you shall spring the chosen king of Israel, and his coming forth shall be as on the timeless morn of the days of eternity. So shall the nation's countless voices chant his praise and wondrous concert. The lasting peace shall fill our land when he shall appear. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. Tomorrow shall the earth be freed from all iniquity, and the Savior of the world shall reign over us. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. Near indeed is Christ the Lord. Come, let us adore him. The Lord our King is drawing near. O oh, come, let us adore him. The first lesson is from the 61st chapter of Isaiah. Beginning in verse 1 and ending in verse 4. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. And they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the, wa repair the waste cities the desolations of many generations. Saying the Meditation Canticle together. Rejoice, heavens and earth, be joyful, and mountains sing glad praises. Burst forth mountains with gladness, and lowly hills with justice. Because the Lord is coming, on his poor he will have mercy. Drop down dew, heavens and clouds, rain the just one, earth be open, and bud forth a Savior. O Lord, do remember us, and visit us with thy salvation. Show us, Lord, thy mercy, and grant us thy salvation. Lord, send thy Lamb, the ruler of our nation, from Petra of the desert to the daughter of Sion's holy mount. Come, Lord, God of hosts, and deliver us. Show us thy face, and we shall see salvation. Come, Lord, grant us in peace thy visit, that we may joy before thee with heart all perfect. May we know, Lord, on earth thy passing, thy salvation in all nations. Arise with power and come to us, and settle us in safety. Come, Lord, and delay us no longer. Loose the bonds of thy people. O rend the heavens and come down to us, how the mountains would melt away at thy presence. Come, Lord, and unveil to us thy countenance who dwell over the cherubim. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Gospel lesson is from the fourth chapter of Luke, beginning in verse 16 and ending in verse 22. Glory, Glory be, be to thee, O Lord. Lord. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, to recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister that sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. 
And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. And all bare witness, and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is this not Joseph's son? Here ends the lesson. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Saying together, the Nymphimidus, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before all people, the, the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O key of David, and scepter of the house of Israel, who open, and none can close, who close, and none can open. O come, free the captive from prison, who sits in darkness and death's shadow. Saying together the Magnificat. My soul, doth magnify, magnify the Lord, Lord. And, and my spirit, spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his hand. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He remembering his mercy hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O key of David, and scepter of the house of Israel, who open and none can close, who close and none can open. O come, free the captive from prison, who sits in darkness and death's shadow. And now let us renew and affirm our faith together by stating the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, may clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put upon us the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life, in which thy Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to just judge both the quick and the dead, and he may rise to life immortal through him who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, now and ever. Amen. <clears throat> o Lord Jesus Christ, who at thy first coming did send the messenger to prepare the way before thee, grant that the ministers and stewards of thy mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready thy way, by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. <clears throat> that at thy second coming to judge the world, we may be found an acceptable people in thy sight, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. 
O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting and power infinite, have mercy upon this whole land. And so rule the hearts of thy servant, the President of the United States, Donald Trump, the governors of these states and all others in authority, that they, knowing whose ministers they are, may above all things seek thy honor and glory, and that we and all thy people duly considering whose authority they bear, may faithfully and obediently honor them, according to thy blessed word and ordinance, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy, and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially we pray for thy holy church universally, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth, and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate. And I invite you to state your own intentions at this time. I especially pray for all Christians around the world who are suffering persecution for the faith and especially those in China. I pray, Lord, for divine protection, for strength upon your people, and for the growth and spread of your word to the conversion of that nation. And I pray also for all Christians in other areas of the world who are suffering the same, that you would be with them and strengthen them and guide them. And I pray for all Christians around the world who are hurting and suffering and in need, to include those near and dear to us. That it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Praying together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and has promised that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them. 
granting us in this world knowledge of, of thy truth and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. God bless you all and may you have a blessed evening and may we have a continued time of reflection uh, as we meditate on the first advent of our Lord coming up to Christmas and may we always be preparing ourselves for a second advent. God bless you and good night.